Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning David Benavidez, David Lemieux. This was exactly how I thought it was going to go down, people. David Lemieux, 33 years of age, uh, went in there and just got destroyed. And shorter fighter, uh, not only was he not the stronger fighter, he was a smaller fighter. He didn't have the reach. Um, David Benavidez just really took it to him. And I think the best thing for him to do was to do that. Like I think David Benavidez was like, hey, give him no mercy. He Cobra kai David Lemieux. I mean, Cobra kai him simply because he didn't play with him. See, David Lemieux was going to dip in and out, trying to throw those hooks, trying to get him over the top, and he knew that. You know, he used his speed, he used his reach, he used his overall boxing ability. You know, and the uppercut was a major asset, okay? The uppercut, the left uppercut went in between the guard of David Lemieux just perfectly. Because David Lemieux is not really a, uh, he's not a guy that, He's not a guy that is really a defensively sound fighter, right? He's just not that guy. He's not a defensively sound fighter like that. He's like a, you know, brawler, slugger, you know, and if you pressure him, you will take him out. Um, even though the fight, first round, domination. Second round, wow, dropped him. And it really, that was that should have been considered a knockout the way he squatted down like he did, Um Third, uh, no, this in the, later in the second round, they knocked him out of the ring. He got, <laughs> he almost fell out of the ring. Now, if he would have fell out of the ring, that would have been a wrap. That would have been another Bernard Hopkins situation, you know, another Hasim Rockman situation, you know, those type of situations where a guy, a fighter, gets knocked out of the ring, right? Um, in third round, you know, the ref had seen enough, the corner had seen enough, and it was time to go. So the good thing for David Lemieux, he wasn't busted up too bad. At least it didn't lead into the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth. So Harvey Doc did a good job for once this fight. You know, he's not a bad referee. He's just not the best in my opinion. But, you know, they did uh, call a halt to that bout. David Lemieux did exactly what he, need, he needed to do. He picked up a title in the meantime, you know, and a lot of people, you know, consider him one of the most dangerous men at 168. I mean, at this point, he is because he hasn't fought that person or he hasn't fought the people, you know, to be considered that, per that person, but he's undefeated. So you can't say that he's not the most dangerous. I think he's the most upcoming, right? I think that, um... I think he's very fast. I love watching him fight. I love the fast speed, rapid fire combinations that David Benavidez throws out. He's a very exciting fighter. Uh, his brother's somewhat like him, but is nothing like exactly like David Benavidez. I think he is the, the guy to really beat. And I think if Canelo wanted to save face, that's exactly what he should do. But of course, he's already signed a contract on the other side of the equation right with the zone so he has to handle that obligations before even getting into a fathom fighting a guy like david lemieux i mean david benavidez right but anyway i was just uh recapping this you know took a break yesterday had a lot to do you know getting back home settled so um uh, domination from david benavidez very very good performance very solid performance you know from uh david you guys tell me what you think of David Benavidez stopping David Lemieux in round three. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.